welcome to my car again. So I'm doing a vlog, I decided right right now, because um, I had to run to Whole Foods before class to get the best gum ever. This is called Spry, and I literally crave this stuff. Um, it's natural, it has xylitol in it though. Really good for your teeth. Um, and I don't know, I have issues, and when I want something, I can't stop thinking about it. I guess you would call that obsessive. And so, drove all the way here to get it, and I might be late for class because of that. I've felt like really weird this last week. Um, my mental health, has been really good um, the past like four or five months. Like my anxiety is almost non-existent and my depression is gone thanks to getting that off birth control and all of that. I thought that my Sorry, this is a weird angle. I thought that um, my hormones were still off just because of the weight thing, like my weight issue and um, that tastes interesting. My weight issues and um, I'm still like I cry at everything and it's not even necessarily like a bad thing like before when I was depressed and I cried Because everything upset me. It's like I'm crying because I'm happy or I'm sad or whatever and so I Don't know something was off so I took this supplement that I did a little bit of research on which by the way Don't recommend unless it's something that doesn't have to do with your hormones because it's usually pretty harmless your hormones affect everything everything I can't emphasize this enough especially with women your hormones control what you wear that day and I'm not saying this to discount any kind of feminism because I am a feminist but the science of a woman's body will tell you that your hormones literally dictate everything if you don't believe me just look at the changes a woman goes through during pregnancy it's because her hormones change every few months so anyway, I took this supplement for nine days and I had a really terrible migraine. I've maybe had two migraines in my entire in my entire life and I thought I was going to die because if you've not experienced a real migraine, you've only had headaches, like you don't know what to expect or what that's gonna feel like. So basically when you have a migraine, you either get some of the symptoms or all of them. Well, I got all of them starting out with losing vision and being sensitive to light to getting dizzy to finally not being able to see anything directly in front of me only my peripherals which normally it's the other way around but anyway and um it was really scary and then i couldn't talk i literally could not make the words come out i could not talk i was like it was in my head but i couldn't say it um, I was at work when this happened and my boss had to take me home So she doesn't know where I live and When she asked me I couldn't remember I Could not remember where I lived or even if I could recall I couldn't say it. I couldn't say anything I just started crying and luckily one of my co-workers said Janae don't you live here because number one she lives in my neighborhood luckily and I just said yes Yes, I do. Even though I couldn't, like, I don't know. It, it was very strange. It was like an out of body experience, okay? Um, oh my gosh, my car is so dirty. This is embarrassing. That happened. I got in the car, you know, she took me home and I started to go numb. Like, it started with my hand, went up my arm, which this is scary because this could kind of make you think of like a heart attack. It definitely wasn't, but that's why it is scary because you feel like something really bad is happening. Um, and so I got numb in my arm and then it went its way up to like my throat and then my tongue. And the weird thing is it's only, it'll, 
excuse me, it only affects like half of your body. It doesn't affect all of it. Um, so that happened. I got really scared because I'm like, you know, normally the only other times I've had migraines was when I was on the pill. So like pill birth control. And since I wasn't, it kind of freaked me out. And then I realized, well, you're taking a supplement to basically increase your progesterone. And number one, I took it at the wrong time and everything. I just didn't do enough research. I thought I knew what I was talking about and decided to give it a shot. And so I had that really bad migraine experience. And ever since then, so that was like last month, exactly a month ago, because it was a little bit after my period. So maybe, yeah. No, probably like three weeks, three weeks to a month ago. And ever since then, I've just felt so weird. So like back to where I was and not, I'm not saying like in an extreme instance, I've just noticed like little things and I'm not feeling motivated and I should feel motivated. Usually when I ha like have my period in the week after, which I just ended my period, you're supposed to be so vibrant and have like the most energy like you've ever had stuff like that and I don't feel like that. No, I guess I was just stressed because my birthday was coming up and like there was like a lot of pressure like financially because uh, we just moved and like I felt like everything was collapsing which is definitely anxiety like none of nothing was collapsing everything was actually going perfect but I just felt like something was gonna go wrong and obviously anyone has anyone that's experienced anxiety is gonna feel like that um, once you get out of it it's like you're yourself again and like you're in a whole new world and I just want to like encourage people like obviously I'm not a doctor and obviously I've done things without research but it's because I've wanted to test those kind of things basically what I'm trying to say is like if you suffer with severe depression or anxiety like get your hormones checked get your levels checked get your minerals checked because all of that stuff plays a plays a part um obviously like look at the rapid change I've gone through and so I just want to encourage you guys to dig deeper. Don't just feel like you have to listen to doctors and like take a pill to suppress things. Like if you want to feel 100% like yourself, then you just have to dig deeper. But anyway, I just haven't really been feeling well. And it's like when I started my YouTube channel, I was really deep in all of that stuff. And I feel like that's a lot of the reason why I started my YouTube channel was to feel like I was contributing to something that I could control. And it was like therapeutic talking to the camera, which it is right now too. So yeah, basically that's where I'm at. And I don't even know what that whole point was. I think my point was just to tell you like my anxiety is starting to get bad and it's making me like want to film more. Um, Cause I don't like being alone. And Darren is working like eight to five now, like a real job. And I have school and like I work retail, so my uh, schedule's like all over the place. So I'm just wanting to talk. Like I did an Instagram live before this. And it's just cause I don't like, I don't know. I don't want to be alone right now. I don't like to be alone when I feel like this. I mean, I don't like to be alone in general. I'm a very relationship oriented person. I don't know if it's cause I'm a Libra or what, actually it is because I'm a Libra. I don't care if you don't believe in astrology, but that has to be it because I hate being alone. Someone, hello, somebody occupy my time. Thank you. I have, I also have an appointment with a naturopath next week, I believe. So I'm gonna try and vlog that or see if she cares if I film her. I feel really good about it. I have an appointment with her and I basically, I'm just gonna voice all my concerns and tell her kind of what I did. Before the I took the supplement and like what the supplement did to me, and like why I took it. So I took it because I felt like my hormones were still a little bit off and I just wanna to get to the bottom of everything and see what I need to do. So I'll try and film that for you guys. Hopefully that could be like a whole separate vlog. But yeah, that's basically it. So I'm gonna to go to class now. I got my coffee from Whole Foods, I got my gum. I think that I can get through this day. <laughs> and you can too. <laughs> How much was this camera, Marissa? How much was it? <laughs> a a, is it a disposable? <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. And she's single. <laughs> I don't have chlamydia or gonorrhea. Hey. Yeah. I'm proud. I'm very proud right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bye, thank you. Bye, thank you. Angel, Angel. I don't know if the cell phone was open, but they all do. Angel, Angel. Angel. So while I was editing this, I felt like I needed to preface with the fact that this is me and Darren's second time seeing Father John Misty and we had bought the tickets months in advance and I kept talking about the possibility if, you know, if, if we would be able to meet him or not. And then we hung out after the show and waited like 45 minutes while the band was loading all their stuff and eventually he came out and like said hi and we got to chat with him and it was one of the most life-changing moments um he's an artist that like we truly look up to and I truly admire for their talent and work and it was just so surreal to meet somebody that I really look up to and like that's an amazing performer because it's never happened to me before so just thought I'd let you know